Bump Boys podcast, it'll melt your brain. Y'all don't wanna see the flame, so don't spark the match. We like rookie Kurt Angle, make your ankle snap. Three amigos like Eddie, but don't lie, you still only cheat when we gotta, but to win, we will. Mike skills like Dusty, but go hard like Brock. I'm a stunner like Austin, dropping elbows like Mach. Y'all don't wanna see the finish, cause it's us on top. One, two, three, get the V and get a warrior pop. Yo! What's up? This is Joe from the Bump Boys podcast here. And as you can see, it's just myself, Danny and Will are unavailable for tonight. So I'm going to do a quick, less than, you know, 10 minute edition of what happened on Monday Night Raw. Now, today's show was pretty decent. It wasn't the greatest, but at the same time, it was decent television. Um, It wasn't the best, though. I will say that. Um, Starting off, we had Kevin Owens, you know, faking out the crowd. He, of course, you know, dressed up as Stone Cold Steve Austin. He had the ball cap on, and it was a typical um, promo for him. It was just a typical, you know, Austin 316. You know, he's going to be drinking some beer, um, and it was a decent promo. But the crap, there were some people who, like, caught on. I was like, I don't think Stone Cold's coming back. Then there was a couple of people who, you know, like, really popped. Like, they panned the people who were popping, like, really loud. And it was pretty impressive, though. Um, but I'd say that was a decent segment. Next, we get Rey Mysterio versus the Dirty Dogs. Um, um, and he had Dominic, of course. This match, I had a lot going on. So um, at one point, Seth Rollins comes out, interrupts, might get cut off. We go back to the match. You know, Rey and Dominic looked pretty strong. And, you know, the Dirty Dogs, they did pretty decently. But it was it was straight Mysterio. Um, I think the biggest part of the night was when, you know, what was it? Uh, Miz came over, hit the skull crush in finale on Rey Mysterio, and then yo he just yanked that mask off his face. You know, Ray covered up, but uh, Dominic's getting a towel on, and then there's just an epic shot of him holding the putting his hand in the mask, him looking up to it like this. And it's just an amazing shot. Um, it's definitely a shot. I, you know, The Miz has been doing this for a while, and I think that's a shot that's going to eventually be in that promo package for WrestleMania. Uh, what else do we have? Commander Aziz and Apollo Crews versus Omos. Match wasn't it. No go. There was a decent part where, you know, Omos hit this nice kick on Aziz. But, you know, it's just a squash at this point. Um... What else we get? We got Rhea Ripley and Liv Morgan versus Shayna Baszler and uh, Natalia. This match was uh, all right. It wasn't the greatest. Um, nothing great by far. Um, you know, was it? Zelina was in there. You know, oh, Zelina and Carmella over here fighting each other. So that was interesting. What else did we get? Sorry, I'm looking up all my things. A lot happened tonight. Um, awesome theory versus Finn Balor. Uh, we had a special guest commentary for, um, the match. We had Pat McAfee, which is pretty cool. You know, Pat, um, was, you know, I guess he, you could say he was doing heel tactics, but he's the face in the feud, but it's just, you know, trolley stuff that he was doing, you know, going to the apron, causing distraction here and there leading to Finn ended up picking up the win. So that was a really nice segment for um, Pat McAfee. And I don't know, this is a pretty decent match. I'm not a big fan of the whole how they're doing Austin Theory, but he does look strong. You know, he he almost beat Finn as he was being distracted by um, Pat McAfee. So that was pretty dope. Uh, what else? We had RK Bro versus Alpha Academy. Uh, this was a decent match. RK Bro ended up picking up the win. Um, I loved throughout the night the Snickers commercial between Alpha Academy. So he was like, um, you know, I'm gonna do a trust fall or you know, we finish each other. So he's like sandcastles. He was like, hmm. So he gives him a snicker after he does a trust fall forward. Um, the thing I would have loved is if like someone handed him a snicker bar and he was like, Oh, thank you. He hands him the snicker bar, and as the person says, You're welcome, he hits him with the shush. That would have been really fun. But RK Bro picks up the win. At that point, Alpha Academy goes for the beatdown. Um, 
who else we have? We had uh, the Street Profits come in, and it looks like they're coming in for the save, but they don't. They beat up poor Riddle, you know, hit a splash from the top. Montez didn't really connect at all, but, um, you know, it was like a heelish Street Profit, so that was really enjoyable. Uh, Reggie and Dana Brooke versus Akira, uh, Akira Tozawa and Tamina. I don't know what's going on with this feud, but I love it. Like, it is hilarious, funny, gimmicky. Um, <laughs> you know, Tozawa's, like, heart is being broken constantly. And I just love it. I don't know why. It's just one of those segments that make me, like, smile and laugh. It's so goofy and funny. But it's something that I really do enjoy. Um, of course, you know, Reggie and Danny get the win. But, you know, Tozawa... I hope, I hope this pays off for Jazawa, you know, either at Mania or the night after WrestleMania. I think that'd be cool. And the interesting part was this match was the, I guess the second to the main, second to the main event, which was pretty different. I wasn't expecting that. I was expecting this to be earlier in the match or sorry, earlier in the evening. And the fact that this was right before the main event, it was very unexpected. I wasn't expecting that. Um, Earlier in the night, Seth Rollins um, confronted AJ Styles about, you know, of course, trying to steal his Mania moment. And during his ability, or during his time of stealing the, the, that Mania moment, um, they basically made, like, you know, if Seth Rollins beats AJ, he will fight Edge. Of course, this match was a banger. The very end of the match, you know, fast, high-paced match. And we see Edge come out, hit uh AJ with a chair and that caused the DQ win for uh uh AJ South. So uh pff, that sucks for Seth and then Seth goes on this giant tirade flipping over desks, flipping over uh tables, chairs. Um he starts ripping off the barricade, kicking things, having a whole temper tantrum, tries to hold raw hostage. And it just goes off air with him looking at WrestleMania, so the WrestleMania sign. So I thought that was a pretty fun, pretty um, nice end segment. But if I had to take a couple things away, you know, I know that Tozawa segment didn't get like that big of a grade online, but I think my favorite thing was Tozawa, the Tozawa segment with Tamina. Those are always fun for me. The Balor and Theory. I haven't been a fan of Balor too much, but uh, this feud with Pat McAfee and stuff like that, it was a lot better this week. Um, and what if I had to give another one? The RK Bro segment. I think those are the best feuds there um, of the night. The rest of it was kind of mid, but it wasn't a bad show. Like, if you're someone who's into, you know, like the build up, you understand what WrestleMania is, and you understand these next couple of weeks are going to be kind of slow. Um, I guess you would be decently happy with it, but, um, you know, in the beginning, all we really had was The Miz taking off Mysterio's mask and then all the good stuff that I enjoyed was, like, towards the end. Um, but, yeah, question is, what's Seth Rollins going to do for WrestleMania? And uh, will Cody ever appear? Probably not, but eh, he'll probably show up after Mania. But uh, it is what it is. Again, this is Joe from The Bump Boys, signing out.